All right, Honors Geometry, let's see how you did on the uh, 30, 60, 90s. Now, if it didn't go well the first time around, don't panic. We're going to, you know, I'll walk you through these, and hopefully we understand it better for the assignment. Um, all right, so looking at number five, we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, we're given the side opposite from 30. We're trying to find the other two sides. Um, so first thing I do every time I approach one of these problems is I'm going to start off with my labels. So opposite from 30, we're setting that equal to N. Opposite from 60, we're setting that equal to N root 3. Opposite from 90, we're setting that equal to 2N. Now, you might see different letters, a different variable other than N used. If you see this online, a lot of people use X, 2X, and X root 3. Uh, the reason I don't use X is because a lot of times we're solving for a side named X or labeled X. Um, so I don't want to, you know, add extra confusion by having two different X's involved in the same problem. Um, you know, that could just get messy. So remember, for a variable, you can use whatever you want. You can even put a star there instead of N if you want, a shamrock, whatever you want. Does not matter. I'm going to use N though. Um, all right. So uh, the first thing you do after labeling on problems like this is you want to figure out what the variable is worth or what N is worth in this case. Um, so right away, uh, it's pretty convenient for us. The side opposite from 30 is equal to N. We have that side as 21. So right away, we know that 21 equals N. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take that information and use it on the other sides. So X is equal to 2N. So X is equal to 2 times that 21. X is going to be 42. Uh, now looking at the hypotenuse, or sorry, not the hypotenuse, looking at Y, which is opposite from 60. Uh, y is equal to N root 3. So we're going to go ahead and plug in that 21 there. So we got Y equals 21 root 3. All right, looking at six, uh, this is another 30, 60, 90. Um, on this one, they didn't give us the 30 degrees there, but you can use the triangle angle sum to figure out, oh, there's 30 degrees left for this angle. Um, so this time around, we, ha we were given the side opposite from 60. Uh, so we're going to you know, label like we normally do, opposite from 30 is equal to N, opposite from 60 is equal to N root 3, and opposite from 90 is equal to 2N. Uh, so looking at the side we were given 15, it's equal to N root 3. We have to solve for N there. Um, so n root 3 equals 15. We're going to divide by root 3 on both sides. Cancels on the left side. Uh, we have to rationalize this denominator on the right side. So we're going to multiply it by root 3 over itself. Um, so when we multiply, root 3 times root 3 gives us 3. 15 times root 3, they're glued together by multiplication. Uh, we're going to be able to simplify that fraction uh, because 15 divided by 3 equals 5. So we have 5 root 3 for our answer, and there's nothing that can be simplified in that radical. We're good there. So now we have the value of n that's going to make the rest of this pretty easy. Um, so x equals n. So work's done there. x is equal to 5 root 3. Uh, y is equal to 2n. So y is going to be equal to 2 times 5 root 3. And remember, the 2 and the 5 get multiplied to be 10. The root 3 is glued to them by multiplication. So we get y equals 10 root 3. All right, looking at 7, the last example here. Um, this time, they, they gave us the side opposite from 90. They gave us the hypotenuse. Um, so a little different look on each one of these. Um, so opposite from 30, uh, we're going to label that N. Opposite from 60, we're going to set that equal to N root 3. Opposite from 90, we're setting equal to 2N. Um, so we're going to use this equation, 8 root 3 equals 2N, to solve for N. Uh, so we divide by 2 on each side. Cancels on the right. On the left-hand side, we can simplify that fraction. We get N equals 4 root 3. Uh, so we're going to, now that we have n, we can plug that in accordingly. So x equals n root 3. So remember, root 3 is going to come up twice here because n has root 3 in it already. And, we're, and then we're taking n and multiplying by root 3. So x equals 4 root 3 times root 3. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. x equals 12. Uh, y is equal to n, so our work is done. y equals 4 root 3 that we already solved for for n. Um, so that's it. So basically, label your triangles, solve for n, and then plug in to, for, to find uh, the missing variables. All right, so good luck on the assignment, and you guys know my email if you have any questions.